hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel the growing developer this is in continuation to our code generation playlist and this is part two of freeze tutorials in the first part we discussed the basic implementation of freeze and i reserved this part specifically for union slash sealed classes i'm really fond of this concept and you will know why in a moment so without wasting any time let's just jump onto this topic the growing developer okay so first thing first what are these sealed or union classes so sealed class mean that you cannot inherit this class or you cannot extend this class we'll we'll look through this with an example we'll understand this with an example second thing is union union would mean a collection or a sum of all the types for example uh, let's say you own a shipment company and you have a shippable item now You only ship food and clothing items. So your shippable item can be either food or clothing It cannot be electrical item or it cannot be an electronics item. So in very layman terms what union means is a type which can have these specific types and nothing else right another example would be let's say your messages right your messages can be text video audio or image now it cannot be any fifth item right it can be only of these four types now let's see how we can implement this using freezed and how this looks in on a code level so this is our plain old user class that we discussed in the part one so again if you haven't seen part one i will just add the uh, link in the description also somewhere in the card okay so let's create a new file and we can name it as shipment item dot right so class shipment item now let's follow the freeze guidelines this will serve as a good reminder for you too First thing, it has to be annotated with freezed. Freezed comes from freezed annotation. Next thing, we have to extend this using a mixin which freezed will create. And the name of this mixin is underscore dollar and the class name. All right. And let's simply add the part directive to where all the generated code will be setting so shipment item dot freeze dot dot okay now let's see how we can define these shipment items so how we do it is factory shipment dot food now you can say that these are named constructor okay food right and factory shipment item dot let's say clothing make sense now what this mean is a shipment item can have several types we define those types the types are food and clothing and nothing else so with this current implementation a shipment item cannot be a let's say electronics a type electronics or electrical type all right now let's run the build runner command and uh, we'll understand what the difference is all right so the error is gone now what this essentially mean this is a union and also a sealed class so as i told you earlier a sealed class cannot be inherited so if i try to say shipment item b extends shipment item now this gives you error it says that shipment item can't extend shipment item yeah because we have only factory constructors and nothing else there isn't a generative constructor included in the shipment item all right now how we can use it in our code so let's go to our main dot dot file we have this demo view ready 
and in the body we have just a simple text inside body we have a floating action button it does nothing right now so what we'll have is let's have a shipment item here shipment item my shipment item equals to let's say food so we define the default value food so here is when the magic happens now based on the type of shipment item i want to display the type here so instead of body it should be food or in in uh, in place of let's say clothing it should be clothing right so what i'm gonna do is inside this text i'll remove so i can say my shipment item dot map now map takes all the available shipment items now if i say let's remove clothing and in case of food i'll just return a text it says food all right now just give me error that you haven't implemented clothing so this ensures type safety and this ensures that you are actually covering all the cases right so let's say in clothing we will have text clothing make sense right now on press of this floating action button what i'm gonna say is set state and my shipment item should convert to uh, what is default default is food let's change it to clothing all right and we start this and by default it is food and press of it it changes to clothing all right now what if you don't want to implement clothing so it should be either food or some default value in that case you can use maybe map so maybe map takes whatever type you want so you can either cover food or clothing or both of them let's remove clothing i don't want to cover clothing here and it takes another additional parameter which is or else so if i don't get any matched type what should you what should i display so i can say display no match type there can be scenarios where you only care about food and not clothing make sense so you can see that our view changes to no match type all right now what if you simply want to do some operation in that case map won't work map is a converter so we have a great great method which should be my shipment item dot when similarly we have when and maybe when if you want to cover only one type you can use maybe when so when when it is food what you'll do you'll simply print I got food and similarly for clothing you can say I got clothing let's check our console so by default it is I got clothing right since we changed it let's restart this I got food by default it is food and if i press on it i got clothing is printed since we are using maybe map so the default value gets uh, displayed here which is no match type make sense all right now now the magic type what if i decide now my shipment should have electrical or electronics item so let's add them factory shipment item dot electronics electronics now let's rerun the builder command wait for it and here is my favorite part 
the moment i added a new type or i updated my shipment item i got an error in my main.dart file now the error says hey you left electronics in this comparison so this ensures that all the types that are defined all the strict types that are defined in your shipment items are actually covered how good is that let's say you have an application with 50 pages and you have implemented something in let's say five pages so this will give you a compile time error in all those five pages ensuring you implement whatever you added and nothing is left right so if i just say electronics in case of electronics just say i got electronics right makes sense now this is all about union we discussed map maybe map when and maybe when you can also have maybe when yeah now this will say you can either include all of them or remove what you don't need and have an or else pair or or have an have an or else method which you will get called as a default value right makes sense step it you can see or else so that's pretty much it coming videos we will also discuss how we can use these sealed slash union classes while defining block states well we are coming soon to flutter block and i know it's it's in to do for so long but it is what it is and but unfortunately you would have to wait for a few more days by the time i come with a block tutorial it is in pipeline and you will soon see it so that's all for today's video hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from this video and let me know in the comments if you have any questions i can clarify it now i'm available for you and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with other developers so that they can also benefit from it thank you so much for watching this video hope you have a nice day bye bye